Let's take a look at this picture. Someone here sees a young woman, pretty woman, and someone sees all, an old granny. It all depends on the perspective. I personally see here a young woman on the first side. Okay, I will give you 10 seconds to take a look at this picture and then write in the comments down below what do you see in this picture. The point is everyone sees differently and everybody has his own perspective. So this is what I want to talk about in this video and this of course applies to books, art, music, films, whatever. And I want to talk about the perspective and the importance of the perspective. So today I'm going to talk about why you should read the whole book anyways even though you have watched the summary or top 10 ideas or something like that. Nowadays th these kind of videos like top 10 ideas from this book, uh, summary of this book are more, more and more popular and those videos are great and I personally as well watch those videos when I find a new book when uh, there's uh, some book with a compelling and uh, very attractive uh, heading and then I take a look at that video and I want to know what's what's in that book and it really can give you like broad insight in that book and you can find maybe core message or something like that but uh, that core message is from perspective of a uh, creator of that video and that creator who is making that video he's writing that summary based on his perspective and that's what he sees and what he thinks is most important but if an author thought that was the most important thing he would have written a book that's short and the book would be 10 pages but the point is the author knows that the, there are so many uh, more important things about that topic that he put into that book and everybody should read the whole book so an author puts a lot of stories and uh, some of his personal experiences and details into that book and those are all lessons that an author had learned and it's all important so if you read the whole book you are reading one story of an author and then at some point eventually you get to, a, to an aha moment and you realize something that's for you mind-blowing that could be some random sentence random word that makes you think, makes you pause and when you think about it, it helps you to realize some things that are going on in your life Make, helps you to uh, get clear insight on some problem you have had recently that sentence maybe doesn't make sense to a lot of people but it doesn't matter, it has to make sense to you and if it makes sense to you, it doesn't have to make sense to anyone else and the point is there could be a hidden message or some uh, hidden word or sentence that could help you and that could help you uh, think, stop and uh, maybe realize some big problem. For example, I remember many many times when I've been reading the, and this happens almost in every book I read a book and at some point I just stop and I can't believe my eyes and ears and my brain can't believe what I have just uh, read and it helps you to realize some big things maybe something that's really important for you you realize that in that particular sentence and that's something you can't uh, have when you just watch a summary of that book I'm not saying that summaries are bad summaries are really good and they can be really helpful o of course if you think that summary is enough for you that's all you need that's okay, but from my personal experience, I know that reading the whole book is so, so valuable and powerful and that's why I recommend it to everyone and, and that's why everybody's opinion is right and everyone is correct. Whatever you think about the book, it's correct because it's correct for you, it's right for you and every interpretation of a book and every summary and every conclusion makes sense and it's important as in the first place because it works for you and it helps you and 
my message and my summary is right for me and it may or may not be right for you. So you have to read the book on your own and then uh, get to know and find out what is that what's important for you. Because one sentence, one word can help you solve some big problems, realize some big things in your life. That's why I think everyone should read the whole book even though you have watched the summary. Thank you for watching.